Hey y'all, I am a fan of Howe's chips. This is my go-to chips all the time with Howe's. So, I had bought this bag uh, maybe two months ago, maybe a month ago. Yes, that's why it's good to hold on to certain things. Because I'm a fan of Howe's. Howe's, this was a healthy chips for me. This was like... Cause, you know the other brands have salt and vinegar i can't eat those because you know food allergies so this is the bag i bought hold on now it's much clearer this is the bag i bought a few months ago the expiration date you know haven't even passed yet but you know i bought it when it was like a few months prior expiration date but anywho this is the ingredients and in, in um the sea salt and vinegar this is the ingredients here now nothing here i'm allergic to now i'm allergic to corn i'm allergic to canola oil and soybean oil and a few other stuff but now this is the chips i had my husband get for me yesterday now this is the same bag, same brand, right? Maybe the color is different. I don't know. The color looks different. This looks lighter. This looks darker. But this is the same brand. How's? Why y'all do me like this? So this is salt, sea salt and vinegar, right? Now look. Look at the ingredients now. They added ingredients. From this bag to this bag. A month difference. A month or two difference. Now they added vegetable oil. I'm also allergic to vegetable oil because they said it has soybean oil in it. Sunflowers, I can eat, but canola, I can't. Corn, cotton seed. See this? This is very dangerous, house. Very dangerous. And something told me to check the ingredients, which I normally do. But since I'm so used to buying these chips, I didn't have to check the ingredients. Like for the past year, I've been eating this brand and I didn't have... I didn't have to check the ingredients. But now with these companies, this is like a lawsuit right here. Like you can't just be throwing things in there. Knowing that people has food allergies. If you care about your customers, you would not be making adding corn to it and canola. And, and, and vegetable oil. I haven't had vegetable oil in years. I haven't had corn in years. I haven't had canola in years because of my food allergies. And I was, and while I was eating it, I was feeling like, I was feeling funny. And I'm not trying to be funny, but I was feeling funny. Like, it felt like my throat was closing. It felt like I was feeling shortness of breath. Even the taste, um, tasted different. But I was like, you know what? I didn't even, you know, realize that. And then that's when something said, change, check the ingredients, which I normally do when I go to the store. But being that I didn't go to the store, someone else picked it up for me which I should have told them to check the ingredients, but they usually buy the chips for me, you know, because, you know, this is a safe chip for me. Now it's not so safe. I'm very disappointed, House. Very, very disappointed. This is a health hazard for me. This is not safe for me, you know? And I love these chips. And I'm hurt that y'all... Added corn to it and canola to it and vegetable oil to it. All the ingredients I'm supposed to avoid. Like, this is the closest I will ever get to sea salt and vinegar. Y'all messing up for me, house. How can y'all do this to me? House, how can y'all do this to me? You have lost a customer. How you going to change your ingredients like this? From this... To this how how are you gonna do that I have food allergies I have an EpiPen I see an allergy doctor and I should not be eating corn I'm allergic to corn this is unacceptable house unacceptable and it could be a lawsuit too you know that right how are you gonna just change your ingredients like this I've been eating you for maybe a year or more. I've been eating these chips for a year or more.
This is the closest I will ever get to salt and vinegar chips. Come on now. Y'all need to do better. Y'all need to talk to the customers first to see if you need to to add in or take out ingredients. See that's see this is this is my fault too because and this is not the only company that I've done this. There's other companies I've been with, you know, eating their brand, you know, eating their food. And come to find out, they take out ingredients or they add in ingredient, ingredients. But I'm sitting here eating these chips. Like, I just bought this, what? I think I bought this maybe last month. What is, what is this, July? Actually, no. Yeah, last month. I bought this. I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, last month, June, I bought this. So, I've been buying it every other, every what, so often. And I was like, okay, I don't have to check the ingredients. Anywho, it doesn't matter when was the last time I bought this. I know I bought this maybe last month. But even so, why would you go from, why would you go from, non-gmo to no gmo what's going on here and i looked it up gmo is soybean oil cotton seed oil um corn potatoes you know and just to name a few but i'm very disappointed at you i'm very disappointed at this company and, and and you know other companies do the same thing too they take out they add in without the customers you know getting permission from the customers i mean i know but the customers are always right right so why would you not ask the customers if they should or shouldn't take any ingredients out but look at this i haven't had corn oil in years because i mean vegetable or that too i haven't had corn i haven't had vegetable oil i haven't had canola oil in years because of my allergies now, this is life-threatening. This is a health issue for me. I was eating these chips, and I know when I eat these chips, I don't, I, you know, I feel good. Well, I don't, well, I'm saying, you know, I enjoy these chips. But while I was eating this, I probably had about maybe four or five chips before I started feeling funny. You know, like my throat closed, like, like it's closing, or, you know, shortness of breath, you know. And then someone said, check the ingredient, and sure enough, bam, corn. Vegetable oil, canola, you know. Last time I had corn, I had to go to the hospital. That's very dangerous. Cows, y'all need to do better. Y'all shouldn't be adding ingredients in. And I know it's my fault, like I said, because I should have checked the ingredients like I usually do. But like I said, I didn't pick this up. But now, I can't even eat salt, sea salt and vinegar chips. Like, Okay, I'm used to eating these chips, right? Normally after a few, like within a year, you eating chips. Like, you wouldn't think they would change any, add any ingredients to it. But they did. But, like, this is like, it's the last time I bought it. This one. This is the last time I bought these chips. Within this year. Last month. And I didn't have to look at the ingredients. Because I looked at the ingredients before. And I was like, okay, it have not changed. But on now, this time I decided not to look at the ingredients. It changed. And I noticed the color is even different. The color is, this is like a lighter and this is like a darker blue. Anywho, I'm very disappointed. I, like I said, this is not the only company that do this. But y'all need to do better. And y'all even, y'all made the chip worse. It was better before, but now it's worse. Because I added extra things that don't need to be. This was one of the healthiest chips for me on the market. One of the healthiest chips on the market that I can eat. Brand, this brand messed it up for me. This is not my go-to bag of chips no more. Why? Because y'all added unhealthy things for people who have allergies. I have allergies to corn, canola oil, you know, vegetable oil. And y'all made it, this chip, very unhealthy for me. This was the healthiest chip compared to Lay's, Ruffles. You know, this was a healthy chip for me. Very disappointed. Very. I hope I don't have to take my EpiPen. I hope I don't. Because if I do, this is serious. Y'all need to do better. 
and y'all don't need to add unhealthy, unnecessary things to the chips. The chips was fine like this. The chips was fine with this ingredients. I know maladaxin, you know, but other than that, this is was healthy for me. This worked for me. This was my go-to bag of chips. Now I can't even eat it. Because I added three unnecessary, four unnecessary ingredients. Cottonseed oil, corn, canola, corn, vegetable oil. Unnecessary ingredients. I hope I don't get sick behind this. Because normally when you're used to buying a product, you normally you, you don't have to look at the ingredients. Especially if you've been buying it for months and for years. And the ingredients stay the same. But yet, what's today? July 31st, 2022? I may have to take my inhaler. But this is serious. This is serious, house. Very serious. This was a healthy, healthy, healthy for me compared to Lay's and Ruffles and all the other chips on the market. This was healthy. Well, not now. It's not healthy now. Not for me. Not for people with food allergies. Now, I look at my ingredients when I'm in the store. But when I'm used to buying the chips, I stop looking at the ingredients because I've been buying it for years, for months. You know, I've been buying the chips for months. So, you know, that 10th that time you buy a chip, you don't have to look at the ingredients because you're used to the ingredients that was already in it. But on this time, I didn't even look because I didn't expect to look. But that was my fault, though. I won't be buying these chips no more because unless, you know, is I find I come across chips that don't have corn in it or canola in it. But I'm very disappointed, House. Very disappointed disappointed you may have lost a customer for this brand of chips very disappointed i am not happy and i'm not feeling too good right now not lying about this this is my health i'm very very cautious about what i put into my 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 system my body because i have a lot of food allergies and these were my safe chips these were my safe chips like I can buy Lay's potato chips. I can buy Hawaii's um, salt and vinegar chips. I can buy Lay's salt, you know, so I can come to house. I can't even come to house. I can't even depend on house. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. I hope I don't get any feel any worse than I'm feeling now. But I just had to get this off my chest. Because this is very dangerous. Very dangerous. House, y'all need to do better. Stop adding unnecessary things. You just made these chips unhealthy. For me, that is. People who has food allergies to corn, to canola oil, to vegetable oil can no longer eat this, which means you losing customers. This was the healthy chips for me on the market. This was the one of the healthiest chips for me. Besides the maladaxin, this was the healthiest chips for me because they had sunflower seed oil I can eat, you know, and all these things. I, these are my these are safe for me to eat, you know. They safe. These chips were my safe place. Now they didn't add a vegetable oil. What persuades y'all to add these ingredients in these chips anyway? It went from healthy for me to non healthy for me. And y'all supposed to be New York, New York born, New York made, and I'm from, and I'm a New Yorker, and I'm very disappointed. I can't even go. These are not, I, these are I, these are not my go-to salt and vinegar chips no more. Now I gotta find another brand that does salt and vinegar. This used to be my go-to salt and vinegar chips. It's no longer disappointed. 